I'm dying. I'm dying. I need a heater. I need a heater. Where are the heaters in this ship? I don't know. Autopilot? No. Uh, fire? I mean, that's for the torpedoes. Where are the things? Where's the heater? Have we got a heater in here? Uh, lights? Switch to red lights. No, where's the heaters at? I need a heater. I need to find the heater right now. Where is it? I don't see any heaters in here. Is there no heaters? Hello? I need a heater. I'm gonna die. <laughs>Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to your faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are checking out this old boot, uh, which is a, a, a like a, a Dutch U-boat, um, which is actually called the O-Boat Type 2. And um, I've checked out the Type 1, I was in the Arctic when I checked out the Type 1, and uh, we went underneath an iceberg. Today though, I think I want to launch some uh, torpedoes at the port over there, so let's get inside, get this thing moving, dive a little bit, and uh, launch some torpedoes. Let's do it. Alright, how do I even get inside of this thing? How do I- Oh, here we go. Ladders. I found a ladder. Uh, we can actually get inside this way. Beautiful. Whee! There we go. So, this one actually has a conning tower. I don't believe the previous one did. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, report boat, report plane, report submarine, and report a base. There we go. We're reporting a base. Because that's what we're attacking today. Good. Uh, now we're on the inside. What do I do? I don't know. Let's figure this out. Okay, so how to drive. If you want to start the diesel engine, you first need to run run to the back and flip the fuel valve and the air pumps. Right, is this the back? Fuel valve and air pumps. Where is that? This is the back though, right? Is this the back? Fuel valve and air pumps. There we go. Alright, start it off. Snorkel height is going to go up. Throttle is going to go high. There we go, we're ready. Awesome. Uh, there's our engine. Pretty nice. It's just set, sat there in the back. Uh, what else do we have? We got control room lights. Nice. We got a depth hold. We don't need that right now. Uh, we got diesel clutch. Let's go ahead and do that. And we should start moving forwards. And I need to go left. I need to go left. Oh, I'm not controlling this very well. Oh, don't break. Don't break. Oh, we're good. <laughs> That's so lucky. All right, good. So we are now sailing into the ocean. Beautiful. You know what? I've just thought about it a little bit, and uh, I don't want to attack that base. Let's go out into the ocean a little bit. We're going to go left, and uh, we're going to dive a little bit, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, I think this will be cool. Okay, so in the instructions, we need to set the ballast to something like 13,750. Uh, Alright, there we go. Set that. And ballast hold on off. Depth hold on off. I don't know. Is the ballast going to fill up? I don't even see the ballast. Where does it say the ballast? <laughs> does it say it anywhere? I don't think it's... Where does it say ballast? It says speed in knots. Okay, where's ballast? I don't know. Radar, let's go ahead and turn that on. It doesn't actually work. Interesting. Ballast left, ballast right. Oh, there we go. Nice. That dial's fine. Battery is staying the same. We're good. We're good. All right, everything's fine. I think. <laughs> Everything is, is, is fine. I'm pretty sure... I don't know. It might be. I'm dying. I'm dying. I need a heater. I need a heater. Where are the heaters in this ship? I don't know. Autopilot? No. Uh, fire? I mean, that's for the torpedoes. Where are the things? Where's the heater? Have we got a heater in here? Uh, lights? Switch to red lights. No, where's the heaters at? I need a heater. I need to find the heater right now. Where is it? I don't see any heaters in here. Is there no heaters? Hello? I need a heater. I'm gonna die. I'm actually legitimately gonna die. Engine room lights. I need a heater. I don't see one. <laughs> no, am I actually going to die because I don't have a heater? I'm pretty sure this is what happened last time. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any heaters anywhere. What's up here? Is there a heater up here? There's a periscope. That's actually really cool. There's no heaters. I don't see one. What's this? Submarine boiler turns all heaters on. Woo! There we go. We're not going to die. We're not going to die. Good job, everyone. Okay, so in that small amount of time, what we've actually done is we've changed from the uh, the diesel engine, which is over here, to the electric motors. Our bad oh god, our battery's going down quite far. Uh, and we are sailing along at very low speeds because we are underwater. But what we're going to do is we're going to make the snorkel go back up. Hopefully that allows it to go above the water. We need to go higher. We need to go higher. Right, set this to like minus five. Here we go, minus five. And we should be able to ascend a little bit. Yeah? I think we're ascending. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're not actually moving very much at all. 
Uh, go up, please. I don't know if it will. I'm trying to make it go up, please. It's not actually doing it. It's not doing it. Right, um, idea, idea, idea. Where's our idea? Here we go. Set ballast zero. We're gonna go back above the water. And, um, that'll be good, I think. Yeah? It's pumping it out. Alright, we're good. I think we're alright. Um, for now though, because our electricity is going down really fast, uh, we're gonna turn off the electric motor, and we're just gonna bob around in the water for a little bit. Alright, I think that's fine. Turns out that's not really the best idea, but at the same time, we have surfaced. So we can turn the engine back on. Here we go, engine is gonna go on. And, uh, the clutch can go in. There we go, very nice. Yeah, woohoo! Awesome, this submarine is actually working out very nicely. Okay, so we have actually managed to reach our target. Let's go ahead and turn the autopilot off so that we don't have to deal with that anymore, just for a second. Uh, we're gonna increase the ballast to 10,000. Alright, 10,000, there we go. We're gonna set the hold to minus 5, and that's gonna be all good with me. There we go, nice. Um, now we are actually looking for a boat. I haven't seen it yet, so we're gonna keep going until we do find it, and then once we find it, we're gonna blow it up. Or at least we're gonna fire our torpedoes at it, and hope we hit them. But I don't know how, how well that's gonna go. I have no idea. Look at that, that's minus five. Oh god, we are so close to that iceberg, but yeah. This is depth minus five, so we can actually put our snorkel above. We can also put our periscope above, so if we go back here, we can actually see above the water. Look at that, that's awesome. Yeah, we can actually uh, periscope down, periscope up. Yeah, we can look around with it. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That is actually really, really nice. I like it. That's so cool. That is very cool. All right, Periscope's going to come back down. Uh, our battery is fine, but we do need it to charge more. How do I make it charge? I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. Okay, so I was just looking around outside, and I looked at that island, and there is a vehicle that's on fire. There's literally a, like, a truck that's on fire. I don't know why, but it just is, and that's really strange. It's really strange. It's very strange. I don't know why that is. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> we're gonna keep going forwards, and I think we might actually try and torpedo one of the icebergs instead. I just want to see how the torpedoes work, so, um, that's what we're gonna do. I just noticed this as well. We're actually going past a whale right now. Um, the whale is actually bigger than our submarine. I don't know if you see the whale, but it's there. Um, that's like the first time I've ever seen a whale in this game naturally, I think. Yeah, that's actually very interesting. Anyway, uh, we need to figure out how to torpedo things. So let's start figuring that out. Okay, let's try and hit this big one right in front of us. Uh, the torpedoes should move it if we hit it. So, uh, all we gotta do is open up the tubes. Uh, open torpedo tubes. And... Uh, fire? Whoa, whoa, what? They are powered by jet engines? Question mark? What the heck? Really? Well, that's insane. Oh, like, they're powered by rockets. That's really weird. Oh, we need to dive. We have to dive. Oh, God, we're gonna go straight under it. We're pushing. We're pushing it along. That's not really what we wanted to be doing, but that's what we are. Oh, God. Okay, right, turn. Turn, that'd be great. We're pushing it along. We don't have a reverse, so this is um, all we can kind of do right now. Help! <laughs> oh, it's gonna oh, it's gonna tip me over. Oh, the iceberg! So the iceberg is ruining my submarine. That's not right. That's just not something that should happen. All right, I think we've escaped. We've escaped the grasps of the iceberg. <laughs> nice. All right, cool. So let's say we do this. Can we do that too. It, it launches it downwards, which I think is very strange. That's very weird. All right, can we turn this off? Okay, and then can we launch another one? All right, let's do it now. Ready? Did I just fire a torpedo? <laughs> I'm firing torpedoes backwards too. That's kind of crazy. I don't know why. Nice, that's so strange. All right, well, I mean, that's it then. <laughs> All the torpedoes are actually, like, rocket-powered, which is very interesting. Uh, there's not really too much more I can actually do with this thing, so 
what we are going to do is we're going to try and dive. So we're going to set this to 13,750. Okay, we can set the depth to minus... Well, minus 5 actually works. Because that actually takes us underneath the water. Um, actually, let's do minus 7. And we'll be a little bit more underneath the water and that'll be cool. There we go, minus 7. Uh, we need our electric motor to work as well. Oh, look. Minus 7 is actually underwater. Whoa, wait. Minus 6 then. Minus 6. See if that makes the engines turn on again. Here we go. The electric motors don't really seem to do much. They really don't. Um, so I guess what I actually want to do is I want to get cozy at the bottom of the ocean. So let's just turn this off. Turn this off. Okay, the radar... Oh, there we go. Now it works. Nice. I just forgot to do the switch. Let's do that. Let's turn this off. Uh, submarine boiler. We do need it because it's a bit... Oh, there we go. Red lights. I just wanted it to be cozy as we descend to the bottom of the ocean. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up this too. We can climb up. We can climb up, kind of. Okay, close this up. There we go. And now we're in this little room where we can see out the front. Nice. That's super cool. I love this thing. This whole boat is amazing. Um, but there's not really too much I could do. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here for now. Um, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to try and torpedo something, maybe um, use this boat. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'll link it down below. You guys can check it out for yourselves. See you in the next one. Goodbye.